Hi and welcome. Today we're going to look at the iPhone 15. Um, this is the 256 gigabyte version. Um, and I'll show you in just a second. So let's just uh, remove the seal. Boom. Okay, so let's see what we get. So like I said, this is the 256 uh, gigabyte version. And I think this is the gray or black by the looks of it. It will probably take fingerprints. Actually, it's doing well. You see the Apple logo, the two uh, cameras. And uh, on this side, you have a uh, the usual button, which now on the iPhone uh, 15 Pro and Pro Max, it's actually a button. This is just a switch to uh, mute it or unmute it. Um, that's the volume rocker up and down, same position as usual. And that's the power button. And then you have the place where you put the, uh, the SIM card tray is in here. <clears throat> and what you have now, you have USB-C. Um, so finally, we have USB-C on iPhone. Uh, for some, it's probably not that great because they have loads of uh, lightning accessories that they won't be able to use unless they get an adapter. Uh, but for most of us, it's a good improvement and a good step uh, away. <clears throat> so yeah, um, let's just dive in. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I've been busy installing a screen protector, which is quite good to have. You never know um, and has been applied perfectly uh, using uh, one of those adapters um, let me see if I still have it around so one of this it comes with one like this very useful you just push the bubbles out uh, they work uh, amazing so what uh, what we get in the package so we get the USB-C to USB-C cable uh, this time you can see it has a uh, material in here um so that will help uh with its toughness in time to resist better and then you get the normal uh um uh, kind of key to remove the sim card tray and also we should have some apple stickers i think only one this time yes only one so yeah, that's all you get with the phone. So we'll just uh, turn it on in just a bit. So let me just uh, install a case as well. Because um, I tend to leave uh, fingerprints. So I have this case from uh, Clicker, something like that. Which I think is quite nice. It has a MagSafe as well. And it looks like it's gonna protect the phone really well. So we'll push that down like that. Let's see if it works. Yeah, well, that's it. Now we should uh, be well protected. As you can see, it has these corners. So if it drops, boom, it's safe. Also with the screen protector. Uh, that that um, I've added, um, I think I've had a little cleaning tool because you will get a, a lot of finger uh, prints. Okay, so what we see at first, you can see now they finally added the island, a smaller island. Uh, in there where you could see some notifications and also um, you can see the cutout for the camera there's a bit of space screen space this time around it uh, where before previously you didn't have that you only had uh, and I'll show you in just a second on iPhone 14 you had this whole thing so yeah I'm pretty happy they've decided to do that uh, because that's a real uh, game changer so let's power it on uh, for the first time see if it has any uh, battery and you can see the apple logo 
which is uh, an amazing thing to see. And of course, we're gonna go through uh, the setup. And uh, yeah, let's have a look. Beautiful screen. The screen protector is not affecting uh, the screen with anything. Uh, it's just there. So yeah, uh, let me quickly go through this uh, configuration settings. It's quite nice they've introduced this. You can set it up for yourself or for a child in family. You can set up your face ID. You still get uh, a question if you want to set up using a face ID mask, uh, which is good. You can transfer data if you have what to transfer. Or maybe it might be your first time using an iPhone. You have to accept the terms and conditions. Set to update your iPhone automatically. That's recommended. Enable location services. That's an, uh, a bit newish kind of. So set up mobile service. Um, so you can have um, you can transfer a phone number from a nearby iPhone or scan a QR code from your network provider. That's if you have an eSIM. Good old Siri, screen time, iPhone analytics, and you have three options now: um, light, dark, or auto. Auto means uh, after a certain time it will just go dark and in the morning back to light so i do like dark so i'm gonna set it to that emergency sos quite useful and welcome to iphone so there you have it guys this is something you are already very used to it um all the default apps the app library and we're gonna Test a bit the camera. Uh, we're gonna see what we could do with that island in there. If we can get uh, maybe any notifications. Um, I don't know if he behaves if you tap on it or anything. Um, but we'll see together. Okay, guys. So we will display various things. So one of the things I could show you today is, as you can see, I've set a timer in there. So if we go back in the clock settings um as you can see that's the timer and when you exit it will just display like that okay so let's see what else um for example if you do maybe a voice memo uh let's do a new one how do you do a new one and then let's say you exit it does show up in there on the island cool let me just stop it and then uh, let's go, you know about this. So if you swipe up to here, you can clear the recent things you open. You can't clear them all, or maybe I don't know how. Uh, but I haven't seen an option. Um, let's quickly check the camera. And uh, I think that's it. So we'll take this little body. Uh, and let's try and do a portrait of it. See if it blurs the background. Let me just quickly take a photo and then I'll show you. So we have things in the background and this little fellow. Okay, let's do a normal photo. See how well it does it. Video. And how close can we go? when recording and also let's see autofocus how well it works maybe let's take this out put it back in hmm. maybe it's the light or doesn't do a great job on focusing unless I press on it Okay, let's try cinematic. Okay, so let me quickly show you. So that was the cinematic.
For someone who is inexperienced using a camera, I will think that that's not really focusing. That's in HDR. I think that was just a video we took. When we were trying to get the focus of the world, but it's not really focusing that well. Huh? I had to move the hand um, in order to focus, to get it to focus. So, yeah, I understand. If you are experienced, you know what you're doing. You press on the screen and you make it work. Maybe the light is too bright um, in my setup, uh, but that should only help. Uh, as you can see, it's taking a while to focus. And then that's uh, the portrait. Uh, I think that's really good photo. Brilliant uh, colors as well. Screen is amazing. Um, let me quickly try the front camera. Okay guys, so that's the front camera. I think it's decent. That was a slow motion with the front camera. I think that's on the back camera. So yeah, um, let's see in terms of uh, camera features. So we have um, time lapse, slow mo, cinema cinematic, and then that's the zoom in uh, cinematic three times, slow motion. Time leaps, time lapse. It will have. Uh, there's no extra bit in there. Uh, v normal video goes up to six times. Photo. Same, I think, ten times on the photo. But that's also digital zoom. And then you can do all kind of um, stuff with it and take a panoramic photo as well. Um, but yeah, there you have it, guys. Um, let me quickly see if it has any uh, any ringtone. So if we go in sounds, let's just... So the sounds come from both. Yeah, from top and down. So yeah, there you have it guys. This is the review of the iPhone 15. I think it's a really nice phone. Um, I wish the price will be a bit lower than it is now. Uh, but otherwise you get a lot of uh, premium features um, for the price. So yeah, thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed it.